Hello, today we're going to do a tutorial on how to color digital stamps using Photoshop CS3. You can use any Photoshop to do this. Um, the only differences between them will be, well, up in your categories up top you might find things that they're in different areas or labeled differently, but other than that this should work for every Photoshop. So the three things that you need to know are your magic wand, your fill bucket, and your foreground color and your color picker. So these are going to be your best friends when coloring in digital images. So what we're going to start with is you open the image that you want to color. This one is a JPEG image as you can see that has the white background on it. Um, and you can see it over here and it's labeled background. When you open up an image it automatically becomes the background. It is an image that you cannot move. You can't grab it and move it. As you can see there it says cannot complete your request because the layer is locked. All backgrounds are locked. Um, so the first thing you want to do when you start coloring is pick your magic wand. It's right there and it looks like a magic wand, a little stick with a little sparkle on top of it. And you move it over to the image and select the area that you want to start coloring with first. So I'm going to select the face of the little bear and as you can see it drew a marquee all around it. Now this is showing you the area that will be filled in. So my next step is to go down to the bottom here and as you can see there's a uh, blue color in my little square here. The two squares are your foreground color and your background color. Whatever color is the foreground color is the color that's going that you're going to be painting with. So if you click on that you'll get a window that looks like this, your color picker. So you can select any color along here and as you can see it changes up here. That's the color that you're picking. I like using my color libraries. This will give you the same color in different variations of it, lighter and darker versions. So I'm looking for brown. So if you just move this little, these little arrows down here, up and down the slider, you'll come to colors, you'll find the colors you're looking for. So I'm going to pick the medium brown here, just so you can see it a lot better on the screen. So now I've selected my brown color, which is here in the foreground. I want to now create a new layer. For every color you should always color on a different layer. So if you don't like the color it's easier to go back and change it if it's on its own layer. So to make a new layer all you have to do is go down to the bottom of your layers palette and you will see there will be a little, it looks like a little page with the curl up, like the corner curled up that says create a new layer and it will just go here. There's nothing on that layer. If you click the eyeball on and off, it'll show you there's nothing there right now. So when I'm selected on that layer, it's highlighted, then I go to my next tool, which is the fill bucket. It looks like a little paint bucket and paint's pouring out of it. So whatever color is in your foreground is what's going to come out of that paint bucket. So I click on in inside. You want to color the rest of the bear in the same color, so you go back. Now you can do this one at a time. Click here, go to your bucket, make sure you're on the appropriate layer and fill it in. Uh, a little shortcut is if you hold down the shift key, your little magic wand will have a plus sign under it. That means you can add more selected areas. So if I hold down the shift key and select inside the areas I want to color, it'll keep adding them for you. So selected this part of the belly, but you see this part is blocked off by this part of the diaper. So you have to select that as well. And the tail and the feet. And as you can see, it's blocked off again here. So you have to select the individual toes. Same in here and here and here. So now I have all the areas that I want to be the same color as the face, the brow. I want to go back to the, the layer with the face colored in, the brown is selected, go back to your fill bucket, if you click on it, it will magically fill in everything for you.